go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Man, let's talk about uh, this slew of pay-per-views we got coming at mid-April, potentially. I would say potentially on some of them. But we got a slew of pay-per-views coming in April into the first week of May. We may have m more, you know what I'm saying? But let's talk about it. Check out the boxing news playlist. Don't look at the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Look at April 16th. You're allegedly going to have Spence the new guys unless they move it into May. But even if they move into May... That I made for two pay-per-views in U.S. in May, right? But as as now, it's April 16th. That's a pay-per-view. Then you go seven days later, uh, the 23rd. That's a pay-per-view United States. Now, uh, Aram saying he think White and Fury going to do 500K in the USA, right? I don't believe that. But like I said before, when they don't do the 500K, I want to see him bash uh, Tyson Fury like he bashed Ty uh, Terrence Crawford all them years. Um... You know, so then the 30, if you do have Shakir Stevenson possibly taking on Valdez, who knows if that's going to happen. That sounds like it's going to be on regular ESPN. So, um, and then the first week in May, you're going to have Canelo come back if it's versus Beeble, if it's versus McAbu, if it's versus Jamal Charlo. So then again, you also, it's been rumored that Wilder and Ruiz may be fighting on pay per view sometime. And then Tank got to come back. He probably going to fight Roley on pay per view June, May, June, July. I heard he got a hand issue. So, I mean, right there, you look at do this first, well, let's say the first four months, f five months, you got Charles Martin, Ortiz, you got Keith Thurman, Barrios. We don't know what we got in March. I mean, it don't seem like too much happening in March so far. Um, then you got Earl and Ugas. Then you got uh, White and Fury the next week. And the week after that, on pay-per-view, then you got... Um, Canelo coming back on pay-per-view and I was listening to the interview Ness was doing with Benavidez and Benavidez it was, it was, he thought that it was uh, it's on fire he thought it was on uh, he thought Canelo was fighting on regular the zone he not fighting on regular the zone he fighting on the zone pay-per-view that's what people understand just remember people I get the zone annually for $100 but then they gonna introduce pay-per-view after bashing it's no different than what PBC did they bash pay-per-view, put shit on free TV, then figured out they need pay-per-view. They need because it's not enough casual fans to be able to boost the ad revenue between the uh, between the fights or on a uh, on the card. You know, so then they just say, you know what, we gonna target. They're not gonna admit it. We gonna target hardcore fans. We know the hardcore fans gonna pay for it regardless. That's what they doing. And now Bob Aram getting in the mix. So you know, so that made what I say. I make five pay-per-views in, in, in around four months. Four months in a week, that make five pay-per-views possibly. And we, we know some of these fights could get canceled because of the virus. We know some of these fights could get canceled. Somebody gets sick. We know some of these fights actually could get canceled, you know, or get postponed. But you think about all the other players coming back. You got Charlo Castanos in March. Um, March ain't really a good month for boxing. It don't even like February a good month for boxing. Like it ain't going to really heat up to April. But... Right now, you got five months. You got five pay-per-views. You know, will they move Spence and New Guys off that day? Who knows? They taking a long time to finalize that fight. And ain't nobody asking all these questions. They taking a long time to finalize the fight. I know it's paperwork and all that other stuff. They taking too long to finalize that fight. And dates getting need up. That's why Charlie, one of the reasons Charlie in the fight on the 26th. Apparently, he back, him and Derrick James is on good terms. But that's why he, you know, that's why the 20, on the, that's why he moved our 26th trailer took it. February 26th, trailer took the day, so. And then they want to wait till the last minute to announce stuff. And then you buy tickets for the 16th for Ugas and Earl. And turn around, they change it to June. They change it earlier in April. It's just, to me, bro, they have no structure. Uh, and, you know, when you look at White, you got uh, February, March. I mean, it's, boxing just don't have no real structure, bro. You know, we, we need to know what when the fight's going on. A nice time in advance, at least three months in advance. You know, you think about White and Fury. Next week they gonna name the venue some more February, March. So you got about two and a half months, but people should get more than that. Apparently it's going down April 23rd at the Cardiff Whale Stadium. I think we deserve more than that. They just be throwing shit together, bro. Hoping somebody come. They try to get a, they probably get a more religious fan base if they they have more consistency and they had a structure. If I'm gonna have a fight on April 16th, that shit should be announced December. Middle December, January, February, March, 
So you should at least have roughly three to four months out, three and a half months, four months. That's that's exactly what it should be. Instead of us talking about a tentative date, you know what I'm saying? And they still don't have a date. So you're talking about February, March, so you got two and a half months to figure out your accommodations for the fight. The thing is going to be in Texas, if they get ate up, they got to change the date. Now it's in Vegas. It's a joke. It's a joke. Same thing with Dilly and White now. Niggas, it's a, it's a joke to me, bro. Real talk, it's a joke. But like I said before, I remember Floyd said it used to take six months to build a pay-per-view. They just throwing everything on pay-per-view. You on pay-per-view. You get a pay-per-view on some Elper shit, man. And you wonder why people uh, pirate these pirate these 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 pay-per-views. You know what I'm saying? You wonder why people don't spend their hard-earned money, come out, then you cancel the date, then you don't want to refund niggas a ticket like the Ugas and uh, the Pacquiao Spence, the Ugas Pacquiao situation. It's crazy. They throwing, and I'm Bob Aaron want to get on the act. Man, I want to put, why do I care about Fury and Wilder, I mean Fury and White fighting on pay-per-view? Nobody. You got a couple hardcore, you know, American fans that think they, they British boxing fans, a lot of them niggas, man, that love the Euro bums and talk about the Sonny Edwards and Tyron McKenna's and give a hell about them, bro. They just swear, you know, a lot of these dudes swear they got roots in the UK. And some of them do, that's where your ancestry come from. What side of the Boston Tea Party was your own? <laughs> well, some of these people push the British boxing. I ain't talking about the hat men's and sport and night. That's what they supposed to do. The IFL TV. That's that's what they post for. You got some of these American writers and you know YouTubers that you know support the British fighters before they support the American fighter. We know the American fighters is like 99% black. And then if we gonna say like 90, then if we if we gonna say 90, then we taking into consideration. The, the Mexican Americans and the Puerto Rican Americans and stuff of that nature, but they really seen as as Latin, Latino. You know what I'm saying? Benavidez and, and guys like that. That's that's my thing about it. You do got uh my bad. You do got Virgil Ortiz coming back. Mark, this is March 19th. So you know, I think he, I don't know, he fighting in L.A. Charlo Post come back March 19th. We still ain't got a date. We still ain't got a date. It was the 12th or the 19th. It was supposed to be in Houston. Now they moving to L.A. So they both going to be fighting in L.A. That means Charlo got to move off the date again. Unless him and Virgil both going to be fighting in L.A. I hear the traffic in L.A. is horrible these days. Always been, to be honest. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro, because now I think they said Charlo fight was headed to L.A. I'm telling you, Detroit. Detroit, man. Detroit City, man. They got water main breaks everywhere. Water main breaks everywhere. Somebody tore their front end off their car. They probably drinking, driving, or just fooling from the club. I was go smash my cheeks. They just ripped the bumper off. It just don't make no sense. Pay all these taxes and stuff, man. And then, you know, nothing, fix nothing, but. Well, yeah, you still ain't got a date for Charlo. And now RT's fighting in L.A. All right, Charlo's going to L.A., so they both going to fight in L.A. RT's fighting in some small arena. So, like I said, Charlo's going to have to fight on the 12th and find another date. They really going to go head up in L.A. with Virgil Ortiz? I mean, they can win. Obviously, they should win. But why even split the fans down the middle? You know, unless, you know, unless I'm wrong, a Virgil fight on a Friday. But I think it said the 19th versus Michael McKissick for the right to be Terrence Crawford mandatory. So, like I said, BBC is horrible at closing deals. They horrible at, at punctuality. They horrible at ordering fights, bro. They wonder why people don't, don't show up to their fights. They wonder why people don't show up to them fights. Maybe give it last minute adjustments. Then you want to take April and take two weeks out of April and say you pay pay 60 pay 70 pay $85 man you crazy then turn around three weeks later two weeks later and then pay for Canelo McAboo Canelo Charlo Canelo Bieber man they get crazy if anything most of these dudes gonna hold their money for Canelo especially if it's Charlo you think you jumping ahead of uh with Ugar suspense and White and Fury you think you jumping ahead a Canelo and Charlo, not Bebo. They might be like, I stream Bebo. Macabu, I stream Macabu. Whoever it may be. And then you got Triple G coming back April 2nd, too, I heard. And somebody else coming back April 2nd. I could be messed up. So you got all, you know, they want you to, you know, pay subscription. Everything is subscription-based unless you're watching Fox in America. 
Showtime is subscription based. They want thirteen dollars to watch Showtime. Uh, the Zone is subscription based. Whatever they charging for the Zone. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Fox Sports is subscription based. You, oh, that's built into your cable bill. A lot of people don't even know that. A lot of the ESPN is subscription based. Now I'm like, you talking about ESPN Plus? So they about to be asking for a lot of money. A lot of money. Which one you willing to pay for? You have to choose. You have to choose one. Char, I mean, uh, Charlo Canelo, Spence Ugas, or, or uh, Tyson Fury, Dillian White, United States. Which one y'all paying for? Which one y'all paying for? Which one y'all spending the bag on? <laughs> that shit crazy to me, man. Crazy. No respect. No respect. You know, and then, and then a lot of these fights ain't even now, so a lot of dudes want to move out fighting. I don't think Charlo will be fighting the 19th in LA. I know or, or Virgil McKissing ain't no great big fight, but. March gonna be very interesting for Charlo. Sure to push him off the 26th day. Virgil will push him off the 19th day. Maybe he was always planning for the 12th. I don't know. But um, that is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, check out the box news playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. The notification go live or drop the video. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Gill 313. Venmo, CJ Gill 313. PayPal link in the description. That's what the donate. Com comment, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Notification go live or drop the video. Appreciate the love support. Y'all know the business is. Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership. Uh, video man and why you should join the membership let's talk about it real quick expeditiously um we got the three levels you got the rookie level you got loyalty badges you got custom emoji badges and you have members on the live stream as we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership i have members only live chat that means everybody can see the video they want to see the video but only members will be able to chat that's three dollars a rookie dog star you get personal shout outs before the videos Maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos, um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there, $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All Stars World too, and priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. No instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.